Hi everybody, Lynette here again and this time I thought I would do a booktube tag, a book tag for you. Um, I haven't done many of these in the past, um, my filmmaking has been a bit sporadic but I just wanted to fill out um, some of the time I've got in April to film um, and also maybe wanted to stick an extra couple of uh, videos up on my channel. So the first book tag that I'm going to do for you is the small booktuber tag. This tag was set up so that small booktubers uh, could find each other uh, back a couple of years ago when there were changes to the monetization program um, with YouTube. They changed the qualification um, of people to having 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 lifetime watch minutes. Um, and there were a lot of small booktubers that were quite aggrieved by that at that point because they were getting close to being monetized and they felt it was very unfair there was hardly any warning given um but also it's a good way uh to to get to know the smaller booktubers as well uh, so i thought that i would give it a go myself I've, I've only got 30 subscribers at this point so i thought you know why not do the tag that is intended to get me out there and seen so the first question is to introduce yourself. So hi, I'm Lynette. I'm 40 years old and I live in the southwest of England. I have been a reader for as long as I can remember. I love all sorts of books. Uh, mostly in the last 10 years have been romance. If you actually went and looked at my Goodreads profile, uh, you will see that actually in the last eight, nine years that I've been updating Goodreads, that pretty much all of my reading has been romance. It's only in the last couple of years I've really started branching back out again into other genres that I really enjoyed. I used to, uh, in my teens, I early teens, I was picking up Stephen King and Dean Koontz. And then in my late teens, early 20s, I was reading a lot of uh, fantasy novels. And then in my mid-20s, I hit a bit of a slump. And then when I got to around about 30, I discovered ebooks and romance. And from there, it just kicked off. Um, I've had some slumpish periods in the last few years, but uh, nothing as bad as my mid to late 20s. So question two is, how long have you been on BookTube? Uh, when I looked back, the earliest video I can find is, was uploaded in June of 2017. So I have been here for almost four years now, three years now. Um, yeah, three years. Sorry, can't do the math. Um, but it's been very sporadic. Uh, initially, when I started, I wasn't too happy with the camera situation that I had uh, and trying to, to uh, trying various ways to prop up the, the phone. And then, yeah, so I struggled a little bit and I, I struggled to get into the swing of um, filming. Um, and then in 2018, I, I started out really well in 2018. Um, I was filming most weeks and then I got a few months into the year and um, things changed um, and it stopped again. I think I think possibly I, I think my partner at that time changed his job and then he was home on Friday afternoons when I was normally filming. And then I just struggled to get into a routine. So I was a bit a bit nervous about filming with him in the house. And then back at the beginning of 2019, I started again and tried to uh, get into the swing of it. And again, I was starting to get into the swing of it. And then my partner again changed our routine again and my filming all got thrown out. Uh, so again, I stopped filming and didn't really pick it up again. Um, and then this year, again, I've started out strong. We're in April. I'm still filming. I'm not attempting to put videos out every week. I'm just trying to do two a month. And at the moment, if that's just uh, TBR and wrap up, then then that's all I'm happy with. But at the moment, I've got lots of time to film. So I'm, I'm trying to uh, film some videos that maybe will pad out the month a bit more, um, months a bit more as the, as the months go on. Um, but yes, um, I'm not living with my partner anymore. We split up at the beginning of last year, which also affected my filming schedule and i'm now living with my mum my mum's quite respectful if i say to her i'm off to film a video she's like okay fine and she potters about the flat quite quietly um 
and so yes yeah, so I'm getting back into the swing of it again now and I'm starting to really enjoy it again now so question three is what types of videos do you make um as I just said in the last question mainly TBRs and wrap-ups um I just want to talk about the books I'm reading really so um I'm not very artistic so you won't see lots of funky thum thumbnails from me and uh, things like that. It probably will just be basic, basic stuff. Um, although I am branching out and I've got a remote now for the camera. Uh, I've bought a new tripod. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I am kind of, I, I yeah, it is just wrap ups and TBRs. Uh, like I say, I am, I have got some tags I want to do. So I'll try and do some of those. Um, but yes, and, and I'll just see where the wind blows me um, in future. Question four is, what do you love about BookTube? Basically, I love the fact that there's hardly any drama. Occasionally, you'll see videos like all spilling the tea. Um, but And you hear about people being um, getting lots of negative feedback because they've said something negative about a book that someone else has enjoyed. Uh, but really, there's not lots and lots of drama. Most people, from what I've seen on BookTube, get on with each other. We all respect each other. We all like each other. And just because we don't like a book that someone else is reading, uh, or, or the genres of books that someone else is reading, doesn't mean that we don't watch their videos. We still, I, or at least I know I certainly do, and I'm sure there are other people out there who also watch videos by BookTubers about books that they have no interest in reading. They just want to hear someone else talking about and enjoying books, which is what I absolutely love about BookTube. And I'm really happy to be here myself. So question five is what type of books you read? I think I actually gave this away in the introduction, um, but mostly romance. Uh, it's still a huge staple of my reading, um, purely because I can read and get through it really quickly. Um, if something's too dense I can get a little bit bored and sometimes I need to move on to something and I have the the actual pleasure of finishing a book and knowing I finished a book before I can go back and read any more certainly um, I've got the you can't quite see them behind the boxes of Harry Potter suites here but I've got the full Robert Jordan Wheel of Time series which I started reading back in the early 2000s when they were being released and I really enjoyed them at that time um, and I was reading a lot of fantasy, so I was quite heavily into it. Uh, but now I'm I'm struggling. I've I've tried rereading because I never finished the series, um, but I want to reread them. And so romance for me is absolutely it's it's brilliant because it means I can dip in and out of that series, but I still get the satisfaction of of reading something and finishing something as well by dipping into romance novels. So yeah, so mostly romance, some fantasy, Harry Potter. Um, I like children's books. Um, these here are my, uh, books from my childhood that I had. Um, and I kept all of those and I do, I haven't read most of them for a long, long time, but I do keep looking at them because my bed is across from the bookshelf. Um, and so I do keep looking at them and thinking, oh, I, I'd like to read that one. Uh, but also I have an eight-year-old nephew, eight-and-a-half-year-old nephew, who absolutely adores reading. So I am picking up new books. Um, so I've got like Septimus Heap, the first Septimus Heap here behind me, which you can't see. I've got a couple of uh, books that are for the 9 to 12 age range because he's an advanced reader as well. So he's reading well beyond his years. So we're trying to find books that he can read, um, but which aren't going to be too adult um i think is is the version i'm looking for words i'm looking for um but yes so i i do read a wide variety i'll try anything once um i've recently read a historical fiction novel which is not something i'm normally into but the subject matter is something that's always intrigued me so i uh i thought that yes i'd give it a go um and i'm glad i did because i really enjoyed it and i think that if I saw something again that was historical fiction um, where I I liked, um, I had an interest in it that I probably would pick it up and read them again. So yes, so I'm really glad about that. Question six is what is your favourite video that you've uploaded so far? I don't really have one. Um, I was 
I was really enjoying, so last year and in 2018, I was trying to do weekly updates on my reading. Um, and I enjoyed doing those, but I found them a lot of work. Uh, so I don't really do those now. Um, I'm attempting to vlog at the moment uh, because I'm doing the Owl's Magical Readathon um, at the point that this video is being filmed. And um, I'm not sure if that's something I'm going to do, carry on with. Um, but I thought I'd give it a go and to see how I felt. Uh, but yes, it's, um, I don't really have a favourite. I just, I'm enjoying making videos and I'm enjoying putting content up. And hopefully long may that continue. And the last question is to tag people. And I tag you all, anybody who's watching this that is a small booktuber, do this. It's a good way to get your self introduced into the community as well as doing the newbie tag um and just get your get your your face out there so i tag you all um and i'd like to hear about all of you um uh, and i'll watch out for your videos so that was the small booktube tag uh, like i say that was originally created um back in i think it was 2018 uh so that small booktubers could get their names out there uh, and it was actually <clears throat> it was actually created by Die Kitty Reads. Um, unfortunately, there's no recent videos on their channel, so I think they've actually stopped uploading now. Uh, I'm not sure if they've maybe changed their channel or started a new channel, uh, but there's certainly nothing recent from them, which is a shame, really. Um, but yes, so that was the small booktuber tag, and I will see you all again soon. Bye.